I always knew this was the life I was meant to live. I just had to make sure that it made some kind of sense. Hi, I'm Barnaby Clay. Check out my new documentary, Shot, the Psycho-Spiritual Mantra of Rock. It's the story of Mick Rock. Every time I pressed that shutter, it was like an explosion. On iTunes now. It's an energy thing. In the height of the moment, I say assassin because that's what I feel like. And I'm going to take you out. I want that feeling. Yeah, well, this is a film about Mick Rock, who is known as a legendary rock and roll photographer. I think the name infiltrated into my psyche. If you wanted a rock and roll photographer, what would you call it? You'd call him Mick Rock. He kind of was the man who shot the 70s in terms of rock and roll. I hadn't done a lot of performance photography until David came along. I just thought, well, I'd be David Bowie, the first David Bowie. I learned about Mick when I was a kid. There were certain record covers which spoke to me. Bingo, there's the cover. Much later in my life, I found out it was the same guy who did all these other images, which I'd known about and seen. And I uh, was like, wow, this, this work is extraordinary, and somebody should make a film about this guy. <laughs> Rock and roll nailed in that one shot. It was a complete revolution, and most people ignored it. It's a story about a particular time in music, but seen through one man's viewpoint. And Mick has a certain way he looks at life and the, the way he approaches his yeah. photography. It's all that's, that's that. It's all filtered through his funny head, which is interesting. I never felt like a voyeur. I was always on the inside looking out. Mick has a, an interesting relationship with his archive. It's pretty chaotic. It's basically an attic, a basement, and it's kind of organized. And it's like Mick's head. It's organized yet disorganized. High time. Uh-oh. He would be tease us with stuff. He'd say, oh, I've got this. And then we, I'd have to be a you know, bunch of phone calls and me pleading with him. And then eventually he'd pass it over to me. And I'd just be like, wow. <laughs> 50,000 junkies in New York alone, and they serve us off to People often ask, when you nearly died, Mick, do you regret that I got myself into that state? The film is really told from the moment when he nearly died in his early 40s via the real Mick Rock to um, a dying Mick Rock as he's waiting for open heart surgery. He kind of tells himself about his life. Could it have been any different? Every time I ask myself that question, I say no. The soundtrack is the artists that Mick work with. I'm like a thief in the night. Blang, 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 blang. It's fantastic music. I don't think I had a clue where I was going, but I was going to be going there anyway. <laughs> <laughs>